All right, howdy. Um, what I'm going to do is show you how to do a drop shadow on the uh, on an image to get that nice drop shadow effect. Um, so I've got a picture open here. I'm going to be talking a little fast to, because of uh, file size. So uh, just pause it if you don't catch something and replay it if you, you want to watch it again. Um, okay, so I have my layer selected here. What I want to do is duplicate this layer. Just get into the habit of doing that each time. That way if you mess something up, uh, you can always uh, just delete the layer and then you've still got your original. So click and drag down to this icon. That is a create new layer icon. And you see it automatically copies. Now what I'm also going to want to do is uh, create a new layer to drop. This is going to be my top layer. And I'm going to drop the shadow from this onto a background. Right now if I do it, it's not going to drop anything because it's the same size as the background. And I'll be dropping it down onto this background, which won't do me any good. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to put a color into that layer. Right now it's transparent. Now you can pick any color up here if you want. I'm going to pick a, a brown. And what that'll do is make that my new foreground color. And foreground colors are shown over here. So you got foreground, background, um, if you click on this little icon, it will set it back to the black and white default. You can uh, click on these arrows and it will switch it back and forth. So now with that layer selected and highlighted in blue, I'm going to go over to Edit, Fill, and Foreground Color is already selected. Just make sure you can just select Background Color if you want. I click OK and now you see since that layer is on top, it's got the foreground color already filled in. So what I want to do now is move this layer underneath. So now I've got, I'm back to this top layer. I select the layer, and what I want to do is scale that down a little bit. Now first, you have to select it. So you do select all, you know, or control A, and you'll notice the little marching ants around the picture. Now we want to scale that down, so we go to Edit, Transform, and Scale. You'll have to trust me on it. Um, scale is one of the options. Notice the marching ants are gone, and we've got these little boxes. So now I go, want to go down to this corner, and if I hold the Alt key down while I'm clicking and dragging, it will get down to the center of the image. Otherwise, you'll have to move the image after scaling it. So once that's done, I, I press enter. Marching ants are still there. Remember it's still selected. So I've got that. Now I want to add my drop shadow. Go down to here. That is your add layer style. Click on that and you'll have to trust me on this. Um, one of the options is drop shadow. You'll get one, this pop-up window. You'll notice that your checkbox is drop shadow over here. So what I'm going to do, let me cancel this real quick so you can see the picture better. And uh, again, I'm going to add FX, and there's my drop shadow. Now I come up to this, and here's your angle, distance, spread, size, all kinds of different options you can have here. Um, I like this angle, and we watch the picture. Now distance is... Uh, one of the easier ways to see that it's actually dropping the shadow. You see on the corner of the picture there, if I make the size a little bigger, you'll see that it that adjusts. Um, so if I more I change the distance, I can change the angle that it's being projected onto it, but you see there's your drop shadow. So once you're happy with it, you click OK, and then it's done. You're, you'll notice that your effects are here, it's added to that layer, so it'll tell you that you've got a drop shadow on that layer. You can hide those that way. And so you've got the drop shadow onto your tan background, and there's your picture. And uh, thanks for watching.